And now we're sitting in the Espresso Engineering booth and we're being visited by Penny Karen Kerbel of Phoenix Technology Group. Good morning, Penny. How are you doing? Good morning, Steve. How are you? Oh, good. We're having a good time at the show. Are you? Absolutely. It's nice to see old friends in the EMC community that uh, we haven't run into in a while because, you know, we're on the East Coast like you. Yep. And uh, so it's good to get out here and see what the rest of the world is doing. That does make it a lot of fun. Now, can you tell me a little bit about Phoenix Technology Group? What are they all about? Well, Phoenix Technical Group, you know, Steve, I've been in the EMC world for over 30 years, I'm embarrassed to say. I know a lot of people like that. Um, and we've worked together, of course, in the past when I set up and ran, you know, Technology International. But we're um, a group of engineers, um, product safety, EMC. We do a lot of mechanical risk assessment. Um, those those sorts of things and we do a lot of the work that engineers hate to do. We do reports and technical documentation and that sort of thing. Yeah. So you know that's you know you know about that. I know about reports and not right. liking to do them that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> but um, what I'm really excited about is that we have developed a partnership with two really proficient engineers in the UK um, for CE marking services. You know we've been new, doing CE marking for a long time but most people in the U.S. particularly don't realize that it's a moving target and regulations change and there are all kinds of new directives coming out and uh, it applies to everybody. What yes. with the, the green leading Europeans, you know, we have to be very careful that our products stay current and meet the current um, applicable directives and standards that are constantly being, being released. You know, we used to joke that um, People get on the committee in Brussels, and I think it's all the test equipment people, you know, to create new standards so they can make more equipment so we can have new test procedures to keep you guys in the laboratory business and business, right? Yeah, busy buying right. new equipment. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> well, our partners in Europe um, are a solicitor, one is a solicitor and a chartered engineer who specializes in helping people understand the legal nuances of CE marking, not just what standards to apply, but what legal things right. you know we need to do. And the other one is a gentleman who is um, really experienced in all manner of products, including toys, and he serves as an authorized representative um, for non-European manufacturers. Um, so he actually represents you in Europe, uh, holds your technical documentation, right. which is a legal requirement, as you well know, exactly. you know, for Europeans. So, so that's what we're excited about. That's very good. I'm probably going to need to get that gentleman's name uh, that can okay. be a representative yeah. because that's good to know because there's a lot of manufacturers out there that really don't know that that A is a requirement or B, right. they don't know anybody to represent them. In, Ex in exactly, so, exactly. Because um, some of the big companies, I won't mention them on, on, on air, of course, but some of the big companies have found that out the hard way. And the fine is pretty um, excessive when you don't get the technical documentation to those enforcement officers when you're supposed to. That's it can be pretty pricey. <laughs> and can you imagine what it would cost a company and reputation and money to have products recalled, pulled off the market totally? Absolutely. That is, that is the worst. Now, I do from time to time get uh, calls from manufacturers that mm -hmm. their products did not make it through customs. Right. Um, right. My understanding is customs is one of the gateways that you have to get through and you have to have that documentation to get through customs. Absolutely. And just as just as we require um, in our, of course, in North America, CSA or UL um, product certification, Europe requires the same thing. And the technical documentation is a very important part of that. And of course, we can go in and write it for customers if, if they wish. We can help them write it. We can help them create test plans to demonstrate compliance. And most importantly, we can give them a sort of a legal review to make sure that they've met all those, again, legal nuances that we were talking about. And if they need an authorized representative, we can help them with that as well. But being based in North Carolina, we're also taking a look at um, the military market. You know, we're about an hour from Fort Bragg, and we're very lucky in North Carolina. We receive the third largest amount of military dollars in the country. But unfortunately, we are rank about 24 or 25 on states after receiving those dollars. And having an um, organization that is, provides a, a virtual infrastructure for our engineers, we can keep our costs very low. We have low overhead. 
and we can provide those services not only to prime contractors but also to um, military contracts you know where we can provide the obviously the correct services so we're looking at that as well that's great now anybody that wanted to get a hold of you to, to buy for your services how do they find you well, that's pretty easy. They can uh, either get on our website, which is www.phoenixtechnologygroup.com. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that we started a blog, and we're looking for some of our engineering uh, uh, partners and friends out there who'd like to write a little 500-word um, article. It can be humorous, it can be informative, it can be whatever you want it to be, and we'll be delighted to give everybody their five minutes of fame. Um, you know, but. The idea is that we want to have an open forum where people can discuss ideas and, and you know share insights and ask questions. We hope people will ask questions and then we'll throw it out to our engineering community and say, what do you all think? You'll, you'll get a call, Steve. <laughs> all right, that would be great, great, great. So Phoenix Technology Group, you're headquartered in Cary, North Carolina. That's correct. Um, but you said a lot of it's virtual. You've got a lot of engineers around. We do. We have a lot of uh, names you probably know right. who are working with us, and uh, we need all those resources, of course, particularly if we're going to be focusing on military contracts. And, and although that's a, a long-term opportunity, we are firmly convinced that with the range of talent we have, certainly within the EMC Society and the Product Safety Society, you know, both of which, of course, we're members, that that talent is there, and I don't think anybody in this day and age is going to turn their nose up at a $30 million contract over a couple of years. No, they're not. And yeah. one of the other things that I, I was chatting with somebody here at the show yesterday, mm -hmm. and one of the things that they seem to see, think is that um, manufacturers are cutting back on their engineering staff. Right. And that being the case, for, uh, companies like your, yourselves are really going to find that you're very well needed because right. they don't have the, the resources right. in-house to do exactly. that. And the interesting thing is, you know, particularly you see it here at the EMC show, uh, a lot of the older engineers who have those, you know, 40 years of experience that you don't learn when you go to engineering school um, are beginning to retire. And those resources and experience are being lost. And, and I have to confess that most of our um, uh, engineers that we work with are the older, more experienced kind that have been downsized, resized, whatever size. But that expertise, we've got hundreds of years of engineering knowledge and safety and, and, and EMC and risk assessment that we can put to work for your company. That's terrific. Well, Penny, it's been great talking to you. Thanks, Steve. Really Appreciate it. Good to see you, an old friend. Good to see you.